In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install one of the most loved video games and potentially the most anticipated PS Vita port of all time, Simpsons Hit and Run. It's important to note that this port is still in development, so there's a good chance that you will experience bugs while playing. However, it has come a long way since the first release, so hats off to the developers for making it happen. So before we do anything, it's important that you have a copy of the Windows game files for Simpsons Hit and Run. Legally, I can't tell you where to find these game files. Unfortunately, the game isn't available on Steam, so you'll have to find a way of sourcing these files yourself. The files are very easy to find online, however. All I'll say is that Google is your friend. However, since I'm not a filthy criminal, uh, I have sourced these games completely legitimately from my physical copy of the game, uh, so this is what they should look like. If your game files don't look like this, then you've got the wrong files. The next thing you will need is the VPK file. This is a file type of PS Vita users for installing games. So you will need to make your way to the developer's GitHub page. I'll leave a link in the description. From here, go to the releases section and click on the simpsonspal.vpk to download it. At the time of making this video, the latest release is version 0.6.1. If that's not the case anymore, then the steps are still the same, just download the latest VPK file. So now that we've got all the files we'll need, it's time to get everything set up on the Vita itself. It's important to note that you will need a jailbroken PS Vita for this to work. The developer's installation guide also states that you will need this file. If you've already jailbroken your PS Vita, then this is already likely on your system. So now that we're on our Vita, we just need to open it up and go to Vita Shell. You should have this application if you've already jailbroken your device. So now, just plug it into your computer. And then press the select button. You should see that the files have opened up on your computer. So now that you've got the PS Vita's file system opened up on your computer, navigate to the data folder here. This is where you're going to be placing the game files. So just create a new folder and simply call it Simpsons. Make sure there's no capitals in the spelling. So open up this file and now you're going to want to drag all of these files into the Simpsons folder. It may take a few minutes. Okay, so now that you've moved the game files across, you can close this window and then come back into the main uh, file. So I have a VPKs folder that I'll be putting my VPKs in. However, you can put it anywhere. So just drag the Simpsons VPK into your folder. That'll take a few seconds to move across. Okay, and that's everything done on the PC side. Okay, so now back on your Vita, press circle to disconnect it from your PC. And you can unplug the cable as well. So from here, we can just make sure that the files are in the correct locations. So if we go into the data folder, there should be a Simpsons file right at the bottom. There we go. There are all our game files. And now make sure that your VPK is in the correct folder. There we go. So now we need to install the VPK file. So simply hover over simpsonspal.vpk and press X. It will say, do you want to install this package? You'll go, yes. It'll take a few seconds. You press yes again. Once it's finished installing, you can exit out of Vita Shell. And on the home page, you should have a Simpsons hit and run bubble. So we'll open it up now just to see everything works. And 
there we go, we're in the game. Thank you for watching this video. If this video helped you at all, then a like would be much appreciated. If you had any issues, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and help out as best I can.